I looked at the interfaith world. Uh, and in fact, the interfaith world has even evolved since the book went to press, uh, because one of the major institutions, uh, historically, the Parliament of the World's Religions, is facing major challenges, and its future, I would say, is very uncertain. But the, uh, as I looked at the interfaith world, I also looked at the ways in which uh, the worlds of religion interact, particularly with the United Nations uh, system. Uh, the Uni in other words, all of the institutions around the United Nations, but also uh, other, other parts uh, of the system. I was intrigued. I actually, a, a certain amount of this experience at least started with some experience that I had. But I was part of a very interesting workshop at um, the center of Boissy, which is the World Council of Churches Center uh, near Geneva a few years ago, where I realized that there is a group of people whose vision is that there should be a spiritual council uh, as well as a security council and a general assembly within the United Nations. And they have been working on that for a long time. They're close to giving up, but they, they never quite quite stop, and there are all kinds of proposals underway. And in some ways, the Alliance of Civilizations of the United Nations, which is sort of the closest thing to trying to come to grips with religion, skittish as they are on the topic, uh, comes out of some of these efforts to say, look, it makes no sense that the United Nations system uh, doesn't have a way to engage uh, with the worlds of religion.